بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله وأسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى the Almighty the Exalted the only one worthy of worship that He سبحانه وتعالى blesses us with guidance and خير and goodness and clarity in this sitting هبت في الله Listen to a beautiful hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa showing us the importance of remembering Allah as much as possible. An Abi Hurairata radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal sabaka al-mufarridun qalu wa ma' mufarridun ya Rasulullah qal al-dhakirun Allah kathira wa al-dhakirat in this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'an, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sabaqa al mufarridun that the people, the mufarridun, that they have, uh, you know, they're the successful ones. They're the ones who beat everyone else. Qalu, then they said, meaning the Sahaba radiallahu ta'an, which mean, وَمَا مُفَرِّدُونَ They didn't know what this term was referring to. Who are the Mufarridun? Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded by saying, أَذَّاكِرُونَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَذَّاكِرَاتِ Those men, those righteous men who remember Allah often, and those righteous women that remember Allah often, and this is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, we see that the Prophet sallallahu rabbi wa sallamuhu alayhi was asked about the mufarridin. And he said, Sabaka al-mufarridun. Al -mufarridun. You know, these people have preceded you, al-mufarridun. And he was asked, who are they? And he mentioned those people who remember Allah often. Those people who remember Allah often. What does that mean for us as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the male believers and the female believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It lets us know that we have got to use our time to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, it shows us this is something easy and simple if we reflect. Easy and simple if we reflect. Why? Because all of us can be in the office making dhikr. All of us can be on the way to the office making dhikr. All of us can leave the office make, making dhikr. All of us can be outdoors making dhikr. All of us can go to the store and making dhikr. Leaving the store making dhikr. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even in the marketplace. And even there are adhkar for going into the marketplace and leaving the marketplace. So it shows us that Allah has made it easy for us. But like the tree, we have to be grounded and rooted in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from kulli suwa makru. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم